Susie Cowper and this is the Tea Cozy Folk vlog for April. We're a bit late this April because I caught Covid and then the camera lady went down with Covid as well but we've all recovered now and we're all negative so that's good so we're back in business. So this is the April vlog. I wanted to show you a new yarn from, well it's not a new yarn, it's Star Starcraft Special DK, but they've got a new colour and it's called Hints of Silver. There it is. Now I know you're looking at that thinking I can't tell what colour that is because you can't, can you? And it's just a picture. So this one is one you'll know and love anyway. This is silver and there's hints of silver. So you can see the colour difference, can't you? And then I've got a ball of white here as well. Look. So you can really see with the three colours. So the silver is a bit, it's a bit luminous, isn't it? It's a bit, I don't know. It's nice and light. Anyway, I thought I'd show you because I'm designing a new project with the um, hints of silver. Because I do like to try the new shades out. And I thought that's a good excuse. So, so there you go. That's it. Hints of silver. Last month I was showing you how I was making the Bin Man Tea Cozy and here he is, all finished, look, he's whistling, I love him whistling, he was really nice to make actually, I kept singing that song while I was knitting him, so that was nice and he's got his bin on his back, it's one of the old style tin bins before health and safety <laughs> and he's got his big boots, his daisy roots. So that's the Dustman Tea Cozy. Thought I'd show him you. You may remember a couple of months ago, I started knitting this kit. It's not knitting, it's crocheting. But I was crocheting this kit. I was bought it as a present for Christmas. And it's a kit with lovely lamb's wool. And you make a scarf. I know, it's just coming up for summer, but I've just finished my scarf. But it might be cold in May. Don't cast a cloud out till May be out. So I might need it, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Anyway, here it is, woo! Oh, all those yards, yards and yards. And it's said to make pom-poms for the ends. But I thought, if I put pom-poms in the washing machine, they'll drop to bits, they won't last very long. So, um, being ever practical, <laughs> I made little crocheted balls to put on mine and stuff them with a bit of stuff in. So that's my new scarf. Look, do you love it? Look, it's really cool, isn't it? And I really like the bobbles. So I've just got to put it through the washing machine. It sounds risky, I know, so I thought I'd show you before I washed it. But it says to put it through the washing machine on a gentle wash. So I'll do that and apparently the the yarn gets fluffier. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope I don't ruin it. Ooh. But yeah, so that's my new scarf. Lovely. I was asked by a lady in the Facebook group if I would design a schnauzer tea cozy. Schnauzer, I had to Google it. I didn't know what one looked like. But look, oh, are they adorable? I want one. <laughs> look, it's got lovely big eyebrows and a big beard. Look, and I thought, you know, lots of dogs when you see them are just in the sitting position, aren't they, or laying down. But I thought I'd do him the gives a paw position with a little paw up like he's begging. I think he wants a biscuit. But yeah, he's really cute, isn't he? And round the back he's got a little tail. And this is where, you know, they, they trim them, don't they, and leave a little frilly bit at the bottom. It's really cute, and his big feet at the back. And he's lovely and woolly, and to, it's all done with the loopy pattern, but on the, up here, you do the loopy pattern, then you cut the loops, which sounds really scary, and then you untwist the fibres, and it gives this lovely crimped look. It's so cute, he's so adorable. He's really sweet. So I was really pleased to have designed him, because he's a lovely tea cosy and he's perfect for dog lovers. I wanted to give you a heads up about the next issue of Simply Knitting magazine. 
it's issue 224 and it's on sale on the 29th of April which is a bit later on in the week and I'm telling you about it because I've got a tea cosy knitting pattern included in that issue and it's a special jubilee tea cosy but I'm not allowed to tell you any more than that I'm sorry I can show you when I do the next vlog I'll show you what it is but I'm just telling you so you can have a heads up and keep a lookout. If you pop along to the Simply Knitting Facebook group, you can subscribe to that and then you'll see what it is anyway, because they'll show you. But anyway, look out for that. And if you want a Jubilee Tea Cozy, that's the issue to get. Anyway, that's the end of the blog for this month. And next month, because next month is next week. So I thought I would leave it another week and delay May's issue of the vlog so that there's two weeks so I can build up a few more things to talk about get some more knitting going and show you my latest creation but anyway I hope you enjoy the vlog and I hope you enjoy your knitting and if you haven't got anything on the needles pop along to the website and get a nice tea cosy knitting pattern keep busy see you soon bye